I love this. I, they have no idea who I am. The guy, Thomas, who runs the business isn't there, but he's gonna be there tomorrow. Fingers crossed, I can't really do anything. It's one of those things where you just gotta trust. Be optimistic. It would be a miracle if these turn out the way I want them to. We'll see. It's part of the fun. <laughs> All right, let's get back to school, finish up some work and head to LA. A little over three years ago, I started this clothing brand called Perspectopia. I was 16 at the time and I had just moved back home from living in France and to be honest, it was one of the most lonely and difficult periods of my life. But through that came something really beautiful and today I want to tell you the story of that and why it means so much to me. Alright, I'm dropping off these to get printed on Monday. I found a shop. Damn, those are nice legs. Do these cost a lot to produce? Yeah, fair amount. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I also accidentally started two other businesses this past year. One, Create a Camp, which designs experiences for the next generation of artists and entrepreneurs. And two, Circle Park, a creative agency that helps some of the largest brands in the world work with those people. And then they send you an, an invoice. And then he's like, hi Max, attaches a quote you requested. If you want to proceed to drop off the garments and note this quote, we will send you the invoice to get this job going. Nice. Easy. And while all these other things are going on, I'm also a student and I go to school. And so I guess this is kind of like a week in my life of what that looks like. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Perspectopia. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's rare when you can document things when they are like kind of beginning. Um, so Chris, he told me about yeah. the, the app. That's that's what he was like, really went on for for a while. And we like, we talked about it even internally of the team. We were just like, oh, like this just fits in really well with everything we're trying to build in the community and such. All right, well, well I'll see you tomorrow. We'll stay in touch. I'll right. text you, safe travels. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll Take care, man. <laughs> Bye. That's so energizing. You know, when you meet someone and you I have no idea if you're gonna connect. Maybe there's been a period of time where you meet people and it's like so and so. That's normal, that's life. You know, you don't connect with everyone. But then you meet someone and it's just like, whoa, this flowed so easily, so well. It just like brightens up everything around you. So I'm gonna be meeting Haytham tomorrow in LA. I'm driving there in the morning to meet Ryan for an event in LA. And we're gonna meet some people in the creator economy, do some creator camp stuff and then Circle Park offsite in Austin for the weekend. Then I fly back to school, or I fly back to LA, then I drive from LA, back to school, and then I have class. My comfort colors are gonna be so sexy. <laughs> okay, now I gotta put these in my car. This will fit, right? This is also a new shop, so this this could, like the whole batch could be butchered. And that would not be good. Oh, okay, I can do it. Most practical car ever. That's what I'm talking about, yeah? 
Oh, hell yeah. All right, we're here. Time to see if this was a big mistake or the best decision ever. <laughs> That works. <laughs> I love this. I, they have no idea who I am. The guy, Thomas, who runs the business isn't there, but he's gonna be there tomorrow. Fingers crossed, I can't really do anything. Um, this will be interesting. It's one of those things where you just gotta trust, be optimistic. It would be a miracle if these turn out the way I want them to. We'll see. It's part of the fun. <laughs> All right, let's get back to school, finish up some work and head to LA. I get it, man. Do you ever feel like uh... a... <laughs> 448. And I'm leaving for LA and then Austin. Not even, not even five, I did it. <laughs> okay. It's nice out here, it's beautiful. Look at that. In the middle of nowhere. That's how I like it. I'm an idiot and ran out of gas. <laughs> Whoops. I found gas. I don't really like romanticizing this because it's actually really dangerous to go on a highway, to leave your car on the side of the highway. I'm just trying to have fun, have a good attitude. But yeah, this is like not recommend at home. But when bad things happen or accidents, you make mistakes, make the most out of them. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm having a good time. It's just so silly. Wait. Actually kind of beautiful. I'm kind of glad this happened. Whoa. You know, I never would have explored this area. Uh, so it's meant to be. It's meant to be. This is just life. Weird things happen. I mean, it's definitely my fault, no doubt. There. I don't even. I don't know. I wouldn't consider this bad, except for the danger aspect. It's not convenient. But like, I'm learning. I'm learning what to do if you run out of gas. And I know not to push the limits anymore. I was like, oh, let's see how far the car can go. The car started stuttering. And I was like, oh hell no. And then uh, the scary. Crossing. <laughs> it's okay. I have like, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. There she is. Oh. Okay. Safe in the car. Let's try this again. No. No. Oh. business is a lot more intimate and delicate than it's often portrayed. You know, at its core in it, at its very essence, business is a very human thing. It's very complex, it's very raw, it, it brings out the best and worst parts of us. And I think that's part of why I love it. Because even if all of this fails and all these businesses crash and burn, I've met so many incredible people who've taken me to so many incredible places. And I've learned so much about myself. And it's been very painful. I don't want to make this seem like it's all glamorous and fun and travel and this. It's very difficult, but I think because it is meaningful, it's worthy of the pursuit. Time to go to Austin. 
We're done. The midterm is done. Tired. Oh, yeah. Not feeling school. <laughs> yes. Ready for the cliche voiceover? <laughs> well, at the end of the day, we're all human, and I think we're just trying to find our people and to find something purposeful to do. And I think I'm starting to find that. You know, this next phase is a lot more difficult than anything I've done before. These businesses are a whole nother realm, and although I've had some early successes, those can only take you so far. So there's a long road ahead, but I'm excited to take you along and to have you be a part of it. I love business. It's just so fun to run around, to interact with human beings that I might never interact with otherwise. I don't know, just like the process of making something. Um, I just scheduled an appointment on Friday, so they're gonna start the printing Friday morning at eight o'clock. I get to go there and film it and watch it. It's gonna be so fun. I've never actually been behind the scenes at an actual print shop. Um, I don't know, it's just, a, it's like a small batch. It's like 36 crewnecks. But for me, it's such a thrill. I don't know, it just feels so right. Love the process of building. Um, and Perspectobi is just a, like such a special project for me. Um, it feels very intimate. It's just for fun. Like, <laughs> this is like a waste of time. Like, I'm not making a lot of money. This isn't for money. If anything, I'm losing money by doing this. But I just love bringing these garments to life. It's just so cool to think about you know, people wearing them and such. I don't know, I just love it, I love it. But yeah, I'm running four businesses right now. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like it, it's all play, like this is so fun. Um, so I'm gonna drive back to school. I have another meeting for Creator Camp with Creative Juice, one of our sponsors, and hopefully a long-term partner with us um, to finalize something we're doing at the next event. And then I have my Jewish film history class, three hour lecture. So yeah, today will be a nice dance. Just got back from LA and Austin last night and uh, I feel pretty energized. I'm still pumped. I'm in a good flow. All right. Um, and kind of what we wanted in it, what we kind of decided as like must haves. And then we spent like 30 minutes just like yeah. brainstorming folds and how we wanted like the brochure experience to feel like. Right here? Yeah, we're green. This is the number four. Check it out. The is like too small on me, so it's kind of funny. These are my boots. Number two. Better watch out. Slide back to the queen. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm late. It's Friday morning and uh, I'm back at the print shop to uh, watch them start printing and filming. I asked if I could, they said yeah.
four different businesses, it sounds very, ooh, ah, but the reality and the truth is that there are many other incredible people, co-founders, business partners, you know, interns, and just uh, so many people involved that make these projects possible and bring these businesses to life. But in doing so, it is a very humbling thing. I think every day I'm reminded that there's so much I don't know and there's so much to be learned out there in the world. I've been very fortunate that with the internet, I've been able to, you know, kind of discover and create this new career and path for my own life, which is a very beautiful thing. And I think it's emblematic of a future of the internet and where work is headed, where business isn't this all consuming thing that destroys your quality of life, that destroys your relationships and takes away. From my perspective, business is a beautiful art that brings people together, that brings ideas into life and materializes them, that has an impact in the world. I think a lot of my businesses have an incredible impact on people and that feels so meaningful and purposeful. For example, I'm gonna be learning this Perspectopia collection soon. And there's so many things that I have to learn and do right now. Like I'm figuring out the mock-ups for the rest of the, you know, garments that you'll see in the next episode that I'm learning to do on Photoshop. And even with these videos, getting better at cinematography and improving my storytelling. And then also learning how to manage my time better and effectively with everything else I have going on. As you saw in this episode, and as you'll see in the future episodes, I'm gonna be launching this Perspectopia collection very soon. And if I'm being quite frank, I'm very rusty with Shopify, which I use to run my website. So I've been recently going through this guy, Kurt Essler's course to touch up and get the shop ready when it launches in the next couple of weeks. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a lot of you also want to create things and start businesses and start projects or freelance or make art. It doesn't have to be business related, but you want to create things and use the internet as a tool rather than like an endless void of consumption. And because of that, I'd like to share with you the opportunity to join me on Skillshare to discover to learn something new and you know this whole summer i'm gonna try to spend less time on social media and more just on a distraction free place of pure learning and i think that's really beautiful and really exciting so yeah a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video the first 1000 people who click the link in the description will get a one month free trial see you guys in the next episode Much love.